Hello, I am Hiro Nakato, and today I'd like to talk about what we are creating and what we are looking for. We are creating uh, something every day. Music, food, architecture, products, or maybe hmm, coding, systems. We keep creating. We never stop creating something. And we never stop. We, ha we are always having a motivation and a curiosity. Why is that? So let's start. Let's go through the very fundamental creation we got and what we, let's see uh, what we are looking for. And the fundamentals, for example, uh, cooking. You do you cook? I cook uh, once a year. <laughs> once a month. <laughs> and clothing, yes. Fashion, now fashion, and the place for living. We love that. And next, we got transporting, transportation system, shipping, and say hello to the world, countries to countries, and the new styles and the new communication interaction happened. See, all dresses. Chinese food, Japanese food, French, we love Italian food too. We love pizza. And those fashions, clothing. And the next, we got TVs, music, movies, dramas, animation, and also a broadcasting system. So you watch the news, right? You watch news in live. You see it in real time. And today, digital technology and internet. You see laptop, smartphone, tablet, the internet. You can get all the information every day, anywhere, anytime. And millions and billions of the information is flowing. And we are keep uploading, downloading your creation, maybe information you want, contents, of course, dramas, movies, entertainment. And you can get um, even how to make things, for example. You know how to make a hmm, vessel made out of ceramics, and how to cook. You're watching on online, right? And maybe dancing, too. And here it is. Every time you access the internet, you can get all those information immediately. One click, and boom. So sounds and visuals, you can get immediately in a one time, one moment. And those digital technology and also uh, internet networking technology is realizing it really fast. But hmm, I feel something different or something not that yet. Do you feel that? Are you satisfying with uh, all those internet technology? because it can show visuals and sounds, visual sounds, which is great. But since I was working on a product design world, I was always feeling about this kind of gap between what I wanted, but I have to do something with it. It's because Sound and imagination, images. But I got this nice deck. I got this nice deck in a real 3D 
you know, CAD drawing, and I got mock-up model, mm, and I want to present it to everyone. But somehow I have to convert into sounds and images so that everyone can see it in your house, smartphone, tablet. So, so you can now see. This is your situation. So my question is, why these two only? Visual sounds. Why these two only? Because we have vision. Yeah, we have vision. And tasting, sense of tasting. And hearing, listening. And smelling. And touching, tactile. And feeling. So we have all those six senses. Ah, by the way, this is the feeling, the icon of feeling I got. I couldn't find how to you know, draw it. But these six senses. So there should be able to use more senses and merging into digital. We got internet, visual, sounds, and now what? And I found one possibility. One potential, potential, 3D printer. Do you know 3D printer is? Okay. So 3D printer takes two senses, visual and touch, tactile. You can touch, right? So sending 3D model, 3D data into a 3D, uh, 3D printer and 3D print it. And you can get actual plastic or other material, the 3D model, immediately, four hours, eight hours. And the, what the interesting thing is, actually 3D printer is, has been invented for hmm, 30 years actually, but now you, you get the digital technology, software, internet, and you can send original, your original idea to the internet and someone can edit it and someone can remake or making new model from that you from your idea. That's great. So we got 3D printer. But still two senses. See? Visual and touch tactile. What about adding one more senses? Should be interesting, right? So I this time I added visual and touching and also tasting. Have you ever heard food 3D printer or food printer on the news? It can print uh, cookies, chocolate, uh, mm, pastas, uh, maybe hamburgers. But it's still mimicking the existing food, pasta, cookies, so all, it all existed. But the, what the food printer takes and gives is you can actually edit it. Do you, uh, have you ever used the uh, digital painting tool before on your laptop or PC, Mac? You can actually take those flavors, tomatoes, uh, breads, and you know, taste of steaks, and maybe ketchups sometimes and um, mustard and put in real taste, real senses into the, these palettes and you design a uh, duck again but you can actually eat up your design duck not duck but it's possible I'm not talking about the 3D printer only what about fashion clothing Here's one idea. For example, hugging each other, wearing devices that can generate a tasting, and hugging each other, and so you might can get the information of the lunch those guys had. And one lady had really nice meal in the restaurant at lunchtime, and one guy had a really nice, nice one. 
So sharing the information and the real taste immediately, immediately. Or maybe shaking a hand is a good way to communicate with uh, someone else. And, oh, you got sushi, <laughs> or oh, you got a hamburger today, and, but you can still taste really real flavor. And um, what, um, I'm trying to explain in a more physical way, and paper cup, you got a paper cup today too, and the taste, I just named the taste generator in here, and you grabbing the paper cup and walking to the re around the restaurant, the street, and for example, this girl had this taste generator on mouth, and just she is just passing by the restaurant, and she got demo taste of the restaurant. It's amazing, right? It can be applied in any restaurant. You know, you you just get uh, this device, and it's just passing by, and you know, just go through the street, and you get demo, demo, demo taste. And once you love it, you just go at it. Ah, taste. What about something else? Um, smelling. Smelling. So sometimes I won't be a uh, bird mm. flying freely. So what about adding a visual and uh, hearing, I mean listening, and tactile, touching? And also feeling. We have quadcopter, multicopter, remote control, and you can control the uh, quadcopter and head mount display with a balance senses and uh, fun and smelling sensor. And now you can get the uh, bard almost in real way. So you don't have to go out there. So, but you can fly out there. Mm, senses. Another example. Um, you have a jacket. I have. I am wearing jacket, and there is a device and can that can generate some tactile texture inside, and the water of the texture. So you choose like a again digital painting tool palette. You select the ocean of Takichi, maybe and uh, drag into your jacket, inside of a jacket, and reclining on the chair, and you feel the sea. It's possible. The most powerful thing of mixing, I mean merging, digital and those six senses that can be able to do different materials. You can apply. You can apply different materials onto another object. Mm. Tomato flavors, jacket, probably fragrance, of course. Mixing taste and uh, smelling fragrance. It's possible. It's a powerful uh, connection between two senses, right? And uh, editing. You can design those textures. You define something by color on the digital painting tool or already. So just select the other senses. And we can do copy and paste. Mm, we love that. So next, what about all senses? What's going on? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you remember that? Um, you went really nice restaurant that day with a friend or family, and the taste was so good, and a really memorable day with a maybe girlfriend, and the first time of for dinner. Mm. You can actually save that time and replay it, feeling real. It's also you can do with um, diary of the life, saving, archiving your memory, memoir. One page, showing this the example, that, that day have, we got really nice reunion, uh, friend, those friends praying with the, uh, those ballet on the beach, and 
nice temperature, nice wind, and we are totally excited. We can save it, and why don't we replay it? And so we have internet, digital technology. Why don't we share it? I haven't ex experienced climbing on the Elvis, but I could experience through this technology, adding, merging all those six senses. Can you imagine? Maybe one day uh, I can get understand a female's mind why he slapped me, and you can just download it and replay it. Oh, okay, really? That happens. So human senses are what you all have, and why not we are use it? You're not using it. Let's use all senses for next creation. Thank you. <laughs>